Yo, what up? <laughs> hey guys, good to see you all today. It will be your boy, and we're back at it again <laughs> with Final Fantasy XII. I know, been a while. We've been we've been doing this one for a while. But honestly, this is a great game. How are you guys doing? Game again, Neko. My quick notification friends that just got here super quick and really made my day. <laughs> I was planning on doing this because of one attack. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh hell yeah, play me some tunes. <laughs> I'm actually okay. A little bit uh, tired, I would say. Yesterday was like very, very tiring to me. Yesterday, the night portion of the day. <laughs> and I walked a lot. Like, after exercising, bruh. And just, uh, uh, yeah, it was just not very good. <laughs> I do feel very tired, but I am getting healthier. <laughs> and I would love to see um, what's that gonna lead to, Neko. Oh, hell yeah. The screen isn't supposed to be black, but... Hold up, hold up. Is it gonna capture the thing? Wait, it did? Wait, it didn't? Oh, it did. Oh yeah. I don't know why that happens. Sometimes it happens. I didn't do anything part, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was just going back to where we were because we literally stopped like right here. Right here, literally here. After 20 years of cave, exploring and shit and I didn't do much like since last time I streamed on Monday except just gave like a second class to every single character now we do be having like all the classes in the game on someone just pretty good but like half of them probably don't play out the way they're supposed to <laughs> Because the, they have more melee classes than magical or utility kind of classes, so... I, I kind of had to like figure out a mix that worked for most of them. Yeah, and yeah, we did. We're, we got a game on, on our hands. Hey Fry, how is it going? How are you doing? Should you encounter beasts within the mine, no matter how trivial, withdraw at once. Bruh. Now all that there is on this mine is like beasts. There's no one else but beasts in here. Hey Eddie! Good to see you, man. Let's go, friends! Mm, that's what I like to see. All of you here, chatting, having a good time. Hell yeah. <laughs> Omelette de fromage. Yes. Oh shit. Oh shit. How did that happen? <laughs> well. We were following a bunny girl and she just stumbled right past this thing. So, yeah. Cool. Let's see, what are we gonna do? I wasn't prepared for like, Ging just throwing a boss fight in my face, but also... Eh, happens every day, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> oh, I said the words. Phew. I'm going for the butt, guys. Don't worry, I got this. 
Damn, that was a 3,000 damage critical hit. What the hell? My character is Erbo. Yeah. Jesus. I was like expecting this to worry me and make me fear for my life, but eh. we're just you're, you're doing the basic attack thing, I guess. Yeah. I'm level 30, by the way. <laughs> like I, I, I was I, I, I don't know. I wasn't supposed to be that this strong. But I am. And we just base attack this to death, like we usually do with the bosses. But like this one looked really cool, so you know. Can you get behind that? Oh. <laughs> nice. Give me the congratulations thing, game. Thank you, game. And no, it was it was interesting. A lot of basic attacks. Got him. Now can I actually like go find the very dizzy, awkward bunny girl? <laughs> you done did it. Oh no, no. Oh shit. I thought I was gonna fall inside the hole and then the stone was like popping and the bunny girl was like possessed by some demon. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> oh hell no. I don't know if she's the final boss but I'd be okay with it. <laughs> I, I'd definitely be okay with it. Wait, it's her sister? Ugh. She gone. Is she now? I mean... What's going on? <laughs><笑> おりが荒らされない限りリエラは外からの何もかもを無視するんです。she got a stone. Cool. <laughs> the dubbing. The, the dubbing really goes off on this one. I don't know if I'm going to go to the mist. I don't know if I'm going to go to the mist. Oh, yeah, now, now we just need uh, uh, everything we, only, we need right now to make this uh, Final Fantasy XII thing is one of those camera angles. I don't know if I'm going to go to the mist. I don't know if I'm going to go to the mist. Do it, game. Do it. The stone I gave you, give it to me. Oh, dangerous stones do be killing people, but like, everyone's like, eh. <laughs> but like, the dudes are also not doing very well in the clothing department. Look at our main character. He, he barely got a shirt on. <laughs> we didn't get the camera angles this time. They're learning. They're improving. The, the, this game. Oh my god. Unless... <laughs> Unless... I, I swear. Morino Sasayaki Okita. Not take it. Then take what? What are those? Oh, it's like a little bit of 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 a
なのにピエラは何もしないというのヒュムのように関わるのはビエラのサガではない嫌なのよイバリスが動こうとしているのにビエラだけが森にこもっているなんて私だって森を出て自由に行きたいのよやめておきなさいあなたはヒュムに関わらないで森にとどまり森と共に行きなさいそれがビエラよ I don't know, man. ねえさんだってもうビエラではなくなったわ。で、で、けど、あら、アウトサイドウォッズ。あつあんがなさい。もりもさとも家族も。ああ、で、カメラアングルズ、で、で、で。あいにゅう。ガッデメ。ああ。ニュリン。あなたもそう。Why? You think they're getting better and then. あなたの姉はもう一人だけ。Yeah. 私のことは忘れなさい。They, they've done a lot worse. <laughs> well, there she goes. Bye bye. 嫌な役をさせたな。あの子は起きてに反発している。起きてを支えて里を導く立場のあなたより。Obey the wood. Surrender yourself to the wood. Become the wood. I have a feeling they're gonna do it again. And if she hates me. Well. Shit, it was a camera angle all along. They got us. <laughs> They don't got us. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, Ezono. How are you doing, man? <laughs> got I can't believe you've done this. And then she said goodbye. I'm actually pretty good. Yeah. Ah, they did it again. The fame was two for one. You were thinking. You were thinking they stopped and then just had like they had a whole plan. It was the beard. Yeah. That's the reason why I, I had it actually. Because it, so sometimes it made me look too young. <laughs> Wait, game? 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 Hold on. Game? That was uh, an awkwardly long pause. Like, really? Like, for real? Like, wait. Oh, my controller is connected. <laughs> I see that was supposed to happen. My controller has this thing where if you don't use it for like 15 minutes or so, it, it turns off. And the cutscene apparently was, was pretty long. <laughs> well, nine minutes to freedom. Oh, hell yeah. But we don't we don't have Windows noises on stream today. I'm learning from my streamer mistakes and evolving. Mutating even. Done. Okay. Anyway, now that we did that, we should be able to cross the to the other part of the woods. That's literally like the only reason why we went to two different dungeons. People never know. But we, we do be mutating. I might be growing wings. 
<laughs> or like a third leg. <laughs> oh yeah, ne Neko did say she wanted me to go down. So hold up. Now I can actually do it. I'm just gonna just gonna pass right by these guys. They aren't much of a threat anymore. Go through here. Let's pass right on. Cool. Oh no, I'm sleeping. Oh shit. I like how my my party character's AI was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go over there and give one basic attack and I'll be right back. Peace. And he just did. Okay, we're going south. Finally. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. These are yellow. Wow. That doesn't seem as bad, like, at all. Speaking of, let me make it so I never have to do that thing I just did again. Uh, here. And ally status petrify. Now I never have to do that again. I feel like this game has a lot that, like, they put on your way that makes it so you barely have to play it. Like, the game kinda plays itself, but, but really kinda. Also, I almost died. Like, at the end, it's still a uh, very technical Final Fantasy game, but... The fact that you can give them actions beforehand just makes it really, really easy. After your setup. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah, we should totally kill that thing. That thing doesn't look dangerous at all. Oh, shit, he coming. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, he coming. Ah, he's not that tanky, huh? Oh. Well, that wasn't that bad. Cool. Now the reasons why I'm here, okay? First thing I want is a uh, actual, uh, like I saw they could get assassin arrows around here somewhere, which was like a better arrow than the one I have. And that's cool if I can get it. Thank you for the hydrate, Nick. That was good. And second, just progressing with the story because we just had to cross this. But like, I'm very intrigued to what else is over here on both sides. So it might be exploring for a little bit, depending on whatever I find or what cutscenes I trigger. Hmm. Haywood. Wow. I like the name of this. I don't like that I stepped in a trap and it almost killed me. <laughs> this game can do that to you. And will do that to you. Just hit you up with RNG that will take your life. Just because, you know, just because they can. Oh, I died. Shit. Okay, this place is dangerous. <laughs> I thought it wasn't. I thought it was fine. I thought it was a fun moment. But the game was like death. I give you death. Let's see, uh, I should just attack these. You know what? Deadly Nightshades remind me of uh, A Nightmare Before Christmas. Because it's one of those plants that Sully uses to poison the doctor character. Hey, Aaron Bill. What up? Welcome to my characters at nine. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> there we go.
go. Oh, Lars is the one that's sleeping. Can't have that. Uh, but I don't think I have anything to wake him up, so we're just gonna wait. And by wait, I mean just leave him there. Who cares? <laughs> Right? Yeah. A bit tired, but very much alright. I think I need to set up decoy on my tank. Because we are getting hit a little bit too much and I'm not liking this. I do not like this. No, no, no. Heal this man's blindness. Mm -hmm. Sleepy potato. By the way, this place definitely looks like I shouldn't be here yet. Like, like I'm definitely making a mistake. And like the game will try to kill me at any moment with some dumb shit. Like that thing, that thing probably wants me dead. Actually, let me let me get an idea of how much into trouble I am. Hold up. Okay. Oh, level 42. I see there are 10 levels above my level. That's why I shouldn't be here. <laughs> that explains things. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, that was fun. We're running. We're running super fast. We're, we're going fast now. We got speed. We became speed. Oh shit, JV. What are you ranting about? <laughs> Also, welcome. Bonus, How are you bonus. doing? Is this bonus? Bonus? You wish this isn't bonus. <laughs> We're finally out of the bonus section. But, like, I do need... Apparently, I, I'm starting to realize that I desperately need some levels. Uh, my characters are like... Oh. This is really getting the short end of the stick here. And by... That I mean, what the hell, dark skeletons? Like, they make my characters dark. So I guess we're all dark now. Can we be friends or something? By the way, he completely disabled my character. I, I can't do anything besides walk. <laughs> oh no! I got the Ziggler again. God damn it. Well. Like, I, I, I actually hope the rain thing led you to some good, you know, team repertoire. <laughs> and the life is a bit better after this. That, that's the best I can do today. <laughs> Can any of you, like, help me just not be disabled, game? Please? Anyone? Thank you, game. Very kind. Oh, hell yeah. That life is good. Life is great. We're doing it. Let's see, oh, go to here. Kill some doggies. I feel like this game could definitely work on making the enemies feel threatening, but also... Like, it, they wanted to make it grindy, so kinda... There isn't much of a weight, you know? That's, that's, what, that's what I feel. After playing it for so long. Which is why I just speed up most of these walking sections. We're just basic attacking everything. And the characters are like, killing themselves or removing status effects on their own. They're, I literally just walk. 
All, all I'm really doing is walking. <laughs> oh, by the way, Larsa died. Cool. Nice. Come back to us, buddy. Let's see. Now we're going right. Uh, through up here. Nah, I think you can definitely do your job, man. And besides, you're always super polite and apologetic. I don't think anyone would ever do something like that of you. <laughs> like, ever. It's just not, not who you are. Uh oh. What's going on? What's happening? Okay, so this should be the path the game wanted me to go. Unless... Oh, yeah, these are like the same enemies I was fighting earlier. So this should be pretty free. They're like just getting the same enemies and giving them recallers. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is going on? What in Final Fantasy is this? Oh, a crystal! For no particular reason! Hmm. Are you guys like me? And you all just get really suspicious at random, randomly placed safe spots? This. Honestly, the fast walking makes the experience a lot more enjoyable, because otherwise I wouldn't handle much of the the random encounter part of the game. It gets very tiring after a little while. Oh yeah, when the music changes for no reason, that's that, but that that one is like a given. Right? You can't you can't just say that there's nothing going on. Uh, what am I gonna get this guy? Jesus. Like, what? Bruh, I'm just gonna give him whatever. I know, I don't wanna make him a melee mode guy that happens to have a gun. <laughs> that, that's not a good character development trait. Why do I hear boss music? Actually, that reminded me of a lot of YouTube videos that have like, uh, like eerie locations with boss music to them. That's a thing. It's really, really cool. Uh, what else? What else? I did make my healer a monk. Don't worry about it. She will only use magic. <laughs> But I got Monk because it gets a lot of health for no reason. So I was like, hmm, what if my healer just didn't die? Hell yeah. Okay, we're out. <laughs> yes, exactly, that's what I'm thinking about. That's the good stuff. So part of the path just disappeared and you guys were like, just chilling here. Hmm. Amber armlet. Sounds good. No. Are we gonna hear boss music? <laughs> oh hell yeah, this is definitely a boss music moment. Oh my god. This game, they, they didn't work very hard on their boss music apparently. <laughs> you, you suspect. <laughs> Actually, let me do the thing I usually do. Uh, this? 
Protect. Yeah. Oh, I should probably wait. I should probably also give him shell. And like, since I'm using lure magic, my the only character that really has to be in hand is the healer. Everyone else, they can just do whatever. And my tank just hugs the boss every time. It, it, like, it works a lot better than I thought it would. But also, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of stats conditions at once. And see, that's what's good. Because <laughs> then my character can just be away from them. <laughs> and just not get hit by anything. <laughs> that's what you like to see. Now, do I have any remedy? No, then I'll just use Echo Herbs for the silence. Okay. And I'll use them again on. There we go. Now on the tank. And what else do I need to do? Oh, this guy has been completely disabled, huh? Oh, that kind of sucks. I'm gonna do the thing. The thing that you do. On everything. Please, 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 please. Thank you. By the way, these uh, skills I'm using they are very weird, because you can only get them with one character. Like, you can get the same skill with the other character. So... It creates this really, like... Planning situation, where you have to get certain classes. To have your QTEs go off. Please! Oh, I missed. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I do hear that, but like, I don't know why they did this. I imagine that it's because of the, um, um what's it called? God. The animation of the skills, like, making the FPS go real crazy. You get a remedy, lady. And he gets a remedy, too. Go. Now we should be safe. Now I can set up again. Hey, but like I'm happy because I finally got a boss that made me have a run for my money. At least a little bit. I just hope he, does, he doesn't like ever do that again. That, that would suck. Yeah. Oh, he's focusing the wrong target. I found it just a little weird, but I imagine it's just like because of the part of the game. Okay, that should do it. We, we should be able to kill it now. I could kill the, the, the two other characters that are attacking my party. Those guys, but... Don't think it's worth it. Same as killing the bonus character. Don't think it's worth my time very much. Especially since I can just basic attack this thing to death now. Oh, yeah, that car. Camera angle, please. Yeah. Can I see what's going on? <laughs> Thanks, dude. Okay. And what in the butt to finish it off? Ye that always works. I mean, it is a good thing, right? Like, stability is a good thing. Right? 
it, it, it gets kind of dull though, but eh, at least you're like safe and you can't rely that things are going to be there on the next day, right? But yeah. And I feel like certain people just deal better with like having the risk reward thing going on for them. Yeah, that's right. That's right. By the way, ten thousand money is just there for free. Kind of questionable, but okay. Wait, am I back here? Oh, it's supposed to go over there. I don't know, it wasn't the boss room, but it was like a regular chest, right? This game has a lot of regular chests that can and cannot spawn, like, based on luck. So, this game makes me assess everything that I see on the map. Because you never know if it's gonna be there. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> but like, usually, I'm the kind of person that usually yeah. when I go buy something, I just research a lot about it beforehand, and like, then I, I decide and I I know what I'm gonna buy usually before I leave my house. That kind of person. Which would make me a, a nightmare for salesmen, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, I like being sure of things. Eh. Where are we going now? Guys, do we go do we go to the top or to the bottom? Or both? I'm not sure. Oh, I'll go both then. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then and then it's the really awkward moment where like they're they're continuing to talk about the thing they want to sell, and you're like, uh, yeah, I know. But in your mind, you're like, oh, okay, I'm dope. I I got what I want. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> how, how do I say this without being rude? <laughs> Really, me every time I every time I go buy something, same shit. That's why my favorite kinds of stores are the ones that just have like the guy near the the cash register, and they don't usually ask you much. They just say, "Okay, you want this? Bye." <laughs> Those are like 10 out of 10, my, my favorite kind of stores. Oh damn, there's only garbage in here. Who would have thought? These woods weren't very friendly after all. And we are out. Are we out of the woods? How do we go from there to here? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to get those sweet commissions on their sales. And I'm like the worst nightmare they could have. <laughs> just, just buying my shit. Would you like to join your point system? <laughs> That's also one that, that you hear often. But I, I usually say, no thank you, really fast. So they can start explaining about it. <laughs> and one thing that really like happens a lot uh, here in my country is like phone companies calling me to talk about their other plans and shit and god like 
really, that's the one thing that I just despise. Because, like, I barely use my phone anyway to make calls. So whenever I get a call and I don't know what the number is, I'm like, yeah, it's probably another one of those. Honestly, it, it feels very, like... How do I put this? It, it doesn't feel very respectful to the worker, right? Because they just keep forcing them to the next one. Yeah. Oh, no. That's disgusting. <laughs> and, like, we, they, they always start, like, we noticed that you're using yeah. this, but, like, wouldn't you be interested in using that? <laughs> Please? <laughs> I didn't mean to walk right through this uh, the map trigger, but yeah, okay, yes. Dokokano Shinio Kokano said, Are you not mean of veterans? Courage of Yasana Tamini, you go tight at Taisa or Segundus. Did you have Kanarazu? Kanarazu? Taisa, oh no. This kid really thinks like he's nice because he's pure and he keeps thinking that the world will get better. But meanwhile, his dad is like dying and he still wants money. <laughs> God damn it. The, the lore in this game is just really out there. How can they afford it? <laughs> that was great. ソリドール家の存在自体を憎んでいます。Yes, find a reason to silence them. And by silence they really mean just skill。必要か。そっちの決まり文句だな。血を流す決断に毛ほどのためらいもない。Yes, a cold blood murder. They're like, yeah, we have this kingdom where we just kill people. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, vengeance? What? what in the name of Lord is going on? もう I think this guy wants to set up his brother as the ruler, aka the, the kid. And. They're probably gonna to try to kill us in the process. Doesn't sound like a very good plan, to be honest. <laughs> Last time they tried to kill everyone, it just ended really badly. That's all I'm gonna say. This ship's doubly blowing up and shit. What objective? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you want to add to everything? Or to anything? Why hey. skeletons? <laughs> They're gonna call you to try to change your internet plan and try to kill us in the process. <laughs> Good idea, TV. Thank you. But it really makes me wonder, uh, like, if they were able to use more aggressive sales tactics, how how fucked up it would get. Thank God we have, you know, laws and shit. Like, I was in a forest five minutes ago, and now we're here. It looks like there's some temples in here. 
which reminded me of the other temple I just went to yeah. last time I got an Asper. <laughs> so the game is like building up hopes inside of me at this moment. Oh, this is a very tiny map. Okay, we're out of here. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's like, you usually get one or the other. After all the waiting and uh, related, that people have to go to try actually get to talk to someone that can solve their problems. And personally, like, I don't even blame the workers. I blame the system that the companies put on. Because, like, sure, it is cost efficient to have a call center, but does make your customers happy <laughs> ever. <laughs> Wait, what happened to me? Yeah. I got silenced and like my silence was healed almost instantly. What did it? Oh wait, is this one of those? Oh no, this is one of those. Okay. And by one of those I mean that that guy is really strong. <laughs> Thus I need my, my healer on top condition. And not silenced. Otherwise, we're gonna freeze to death. And it's not gonna be really cool. Well, it is going to be cool. Quite literally. <laughs> our, our bodies are gonna be very cool. And yep. Though, like, here, it, most people, like, in my country, most people, instead of going to work on, like, burger shops, those that don't have a job and really need one quickly, they just end up on call centers instead of like burgers or retail stores, or that kind of thing. Because here there's a lot of, oh, having someone you know, like refer you to a job. And the only job that really doesn't care are the call center guys. <laughs> oh, hey, some dudes. What up? I would say retail here is big, but they also like seem to require a lot more. And in my country, they just have call centers for a lot of things, especially for like other companies that deal with uh, the entirety of South America and shit. So. What the hell is that? Okay, now I'm surprised. I wanna see what level are you, buddy? Oh no, you're coming. Oh god. Oh, it's level yeah. 27? That's fine. If you're 27, I can kill you. But like, that's definitely what a um, mutant cockroach looks like. But that. I, I can see that. Let's see, oh, we got some traps. Well, a lot of traps. Ouch. Traps. My toes. Cause like, it's nice that I can see the traps now, but like... It doesn't stop the AI of my party members to just walk right on it. <laughs> so it kinda is what it is. By the way, I don't have any idea of where I'm going. In case you guys were wondering, I don't, I don't know either. I'm just going, hoping something happens in the way. What? Oh, you're buffing yourself. That's cool. My character got hit with sack of all magic spells. So my HP is gonna drain slowly for a little while. And my characters are going to force themselves to heal me. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. By the way, speaking of, uh, one criticism I actually have for this game. Th this, this one is actually something that's a bit more important. 
is that the game having a system that makes most actions like automatic like, like I'm doing where I just have to walk around the map takes a little bit of the engagement that you would get of like random encounters in the game I'm not sure if that's a good thing Ah, ruins, just like I thought. It's here. Cool. They don't have any. Oh, they do have chests in here. What up? Arene. What else? Another ring. Okay. Oh, well, I'm just gonna go back because the guys just wanted to get to a certain city, and I imagine that like the game is gonna be like, okay, you should go to this dungeon later. Actually, my line of thinking is that I I might have done things out of order, but like in a good way because at least now I have them on the map, so I know where I need to go next. I'm not gonna fight these guys. Can't make me. Flying birds took a little bit too long. Uh, oh yeah, does this heal the sap thing? <laughs> who's, the, who's this person? Well, my beard is gone. We, we done killed it. We... Just parted ways with it. It happened. It was a very emotional decision. <laughs> no, it was it wasn't uh, Luigi JV. Though now that I think about it, <laughs> if only if only I had the Mario hat, <laughs> it would have made you a very nice um, Photoshop thingy. Just have me and, and JV as the Mario Brothers. But like, I just felt like removing my beard because <laughs> it's it's getting too hot here, and like I'm not enjoying it as much recently. So I thought, yeah, let's see how I look without it for a little while. Let's change. Yeah. Oh, hey, I got that. Nice. We got that. Quite literally. They are very dead. My god, this game just keeps expanding this area. It's like I'm gonna be here forever. <laughs> like, next uh, 50 hours of this gameplay is going to be just me in this very cold area. Exploring all the new maps and shit. Ah, uh, where to next? Where to next? And the only thing I really know is that there's like a town around here somewhere. So that's uh, where I'm going. Well, 24 centimeters, that's a lot of beard. Wow. Would you let it grow again? <laughs> oh shit, did we make a mistake? Oh yes, we did. we're here again. Oh god, okay, we're out. So that's how I get here. And I'm going down. <laughs> wow, that bro. Your resolve surprised me. I'm I'm legit impressed. Yeah. Damn. Cause like for me. That, that much, I feel like that much that I had was like pretty much the most I'm ever comfortable with growing my beard. 
Because I don't feel like, you know, it fits me that well. That's for the most part. I like I like having a little because it made me look more mature and shit. But if I just like let it grow out, I feel like it would just make me look very weird. Because my face is still very mature <laughs> looking. <laughs> Not immature looking, right? Look a little bit too young most of the time. My toes! My toes again! <laughs> okay, then I guess that the only path we need to go to is north. Yeah, this area. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's a really nice thing to me. At least to, to me, like, now, since I know that an age is gonna come where my beard isn't gonna grow around anymore, and my hair isn't gonna be there anymore, too, I always just feel like, yeah, it's, 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 it's growing out, why not just get creative with it? Change the visual as much as I can before it's too late. Yeah. Especially because, you know, like, when looking at the pictures later, right? A few years in the future. It's gonna be like, damn, I had this much hair. My, my beard was actually that long. <laughs> right? I think that's a really cool thing to have. Especially, like, for me, when I looked at my dad's pictures, um, when, when he was younger and looked, uh, like, totally different. I was like, damn. That's really surprised that you look that way, Dad. Oh yeah, that's right. Though having like, but then like, when you get older, the goal would be getting that silver beard looking nice. <laughs> At least for me, that's one thing that I probably would try at some point. Like, I, I know myself. I, I know I would. Even if it looked very weird. Like I was Santa. Or the Santa Claus that they have on the Coca-Cola ads. <laughs> exactly that that bad. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's, let's go for that. In the future. Now, this better be the place that I need to go to, because I'm really running out of places to go to. And it would suck that, like, the last one was the right one, but... Eh. Here we are. You would up. Okay. How do we go from a frozen mountain to this? I guess the frozen mountain is down there. But like I wish they made a proper entrance. <laughs> Let's see. So my characters are here for like a little diplomatic trip we're doing. And we're like hoping. Um hoping that we can actually solve the conflict of the war without needing to fight anyone but since this game is this game right there's no way it's gonna happen <laughs> Ooh, cool i got for free damn look at all these magics i get for free and by for free i just mean that because i i got a lot of money from grinding all characters to the same level Okay. Bones. We're selling bones. Some fruit. A crystal. Vines. You'd love to see it. Okay. This. Yellow liquid. 
I'm selling a guy yell the kid and he's paying a lot for it. What a life. Oh man. Okay. I literally made a lot more money than I had to begin with. What a great game. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that like this game has a um, drop system that like Basically, the drops increase the more of the same enemy you kill. So as long as you're fighting the same enemy a lot of times, you can just get infinite, amount, infinite amounts of money. And the game just lets you do that. By positioning the enemies in a way that you can like go back and forth on two rooms and respawn them. It's really easy. Grand question marks you wanna like? Well, oh. ain't that something? Uh, let's see. Glacial staff. Yeah, I've got one. At least I got something. I thought this game would like give me nothing useful. Wait, there was one other tab on the guy. Armor. Yeah, we got one. Oops, I bought eleven. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> That's the worst mistake I've ever made. <laughs> Buying eleven of a gear that I don't need. Uh, let's see. Close helmet, and I'll run out of money, so I'll need to sell those. Damn, that kind of sucks. The high key kind of sucks, but not as much as you think, because like I, I can just sell it back. It's gonna be fine. Uh, I need to equip the helmets. Oh my thanks. And it's funny that like I'm on a city but a regular vendor on the street has all these items for sale. It doesn't make any bit of sense. But I'm like yeah let's just go with it. Let's just buy everything. Diamond shield. I say yes to that. And I will just sell the rest of the things. And I need to check one more thing because I realized that my character didn't get any new armor, so I'm guessing that I didn't get the license. Aha! I didn't. There we go. That's how this game gets you. They give you a lot of skills that you can spec into. And then if you forget like to get the armor expansions for your characters, you just you're just done. Really it's over. It really is over. <laughs> okay, we're out. Let's see, we can get chocobos. There's a crystal that I need to activate. It's just turning on and on around. Okay, let's go into this city. Nice music. Damn, this really feels like a refugee camp, because it kind of is. But like, I'm loving the music here.
Mm. It gets better. Wow. This reminded me of the of I had in time, because there was that little section of the game that you just go on flying like floating islands and high mountains. Mm -hmm. The others are concerned about the future of our mountain. Hmm. Oh, it would make sense. People usually just try to refuse become refugees at a safe place, but if you get too much refugees at one place, then there isn't much work being done. It collapses. A wave of dark energy! Oh god. Okay, this place looks sick. What's up? Oh damn. How old is this man? I would wager he's 300 something years old. I don't sleep by dream, bruh. This guy. This guy. Anastasia. <laughs> Oh, but he's like literally standing up there. I thought he was like sitting or laying down. But no, this man's literally talking in his sleep while standing up. That would be really creepy, man. Hmm. Who this? Oh, that's the Rosalia Wait, what? Oh, he's going to take care of this person. Yeah, that's right. Like a trap, like what? Arushido Marugara Stumus. Ashiden can you carry much to a Gokigan Uruashi? I don't trust this dude. Darumas come Savakuni. And meanwhile, in the back, then I was like, oh my god, she gets his hand. Oh god, oh no. Arukadi, <laughs> are you alone? ロザリアは私が王位を継いでダルマスカ王国の復活を宣言し帝国との友好を訴えて海方軍を思いとどまらせるとなのに今になって諦めろとは姫のお言葉があれば海方軍は動けず我がロザリアも宣戦布告の大義名分を失う
陛下が平和的解決を決断すれば。ラミス皇帝は亡くなった。What? His life was taken? That's a lie. We just saw him on a cutscene like 10 minutes ago. He died. No. I'm glad you're doing okay. I see. It was a ploy. Oh, I'm doing great. Honestly, I've been enjoying myself a lot. I'm a little tired today. They're all losing this shit. Because the guy died. <laughs> And I didn't kill him. I would say I'm winning. I, I just. Spent a little bit too long walking around maps. Watasto, Rasa or Nokos Nomitonata. Masaka Rasa Samomo. Bain Solido. Oh, my little Jajima start to stay. Kiden will cook in Sasset. That would make sense. Bain Kakao Doksai can Nishime Stanoa. Holds Casador Koan Sokyoka. Waka, I see. It was all a ploy. Kisama Mochaban no Kyoenka. But that's a very well known uh, voice actor, right? For this lady. At least I think I've heard that voice on animes way too many times. Oh my god, her face is getting smashed. Oh, rip. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not good. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. グラミス陛下に報告していたそうだが。それは。けいは陛下の犬だった。オッケー、そのことを。ジャッジマスターの職務を全うしてみせろ。法に。ダイエット。<笑> Yeah, killing, killing a woman just because she said no to killing someone <laughs> its a little bit too much. Well, he about to do it. Oh no. They, I mean, they did just in one simple move just got the entire government in their hands, so there's much you can do. <laughs> you can do. But also, I, I still don't think he's right. <laughs> and she's dead. They did it. Complete. Oh, yeah, so it was definitely him. <laughs> he killed his dad for power. Okay. Karini Himego, he was the Kaikeso Utai Tatu Shibashu. グラミス皇帝なら戦争回避を優先したでしょうが相手はベインソリドゥ姿を現した姫を偽物だとか断定して解放軍を挑発するんじゃないですかね
メインは戦争を望んでいる都合の悪いことにあいつは軍事的天才だ私も夢に告げられたそなたが姿を現せば、ね、セズナウを招きデイリーが歴史に名を残す帝国軍は全軍挙げて海戦準備を進めてましたいや、yeah, what, what do they do then? <laughs> That's what matters ベイン直属の西方総軍が臨戦態勢に移行し新設の大軍大艦隊が進発、oh, それと本国の大使艦隊も戦艦オーディーンの改装終了を待つばかりでもってケロン派遣軍の第二艦隊が第八艦隊の穴埋めに駆り出されますがつまりどえらい大軍だそして切り札は浜崎うん They need more shiny stones to blow up ships <laughs> I can't believe they're doing that again 力を持たない私が女王となっても何も守れませんより大きな力を身につけてから改めてそなたが夢見るのは浜関の力か浜関以上の力ですで力を持って力に挑むかまこと日むの子らしい言葉よだそしげやつ王の末裔ですならばレイスウォールが残したもう一つの力を求めなさい。Okay, yes. そんなものがあるのですかハラミナ大峡谷を越え。ああ、そこは。ああ、そこは。ああ、そこは。ああ、そこは。ああ、そこは。ああ、そこは。ああ、そこは。ああ、そこは。そこは。ああ、そこは。ああ、The Sword of Kings. Because the Hanyo's Thank you, old man. You were very, very helpful. Literally just gave the whole plot a path for it to happen. And goes back to sleep. <laughs> Ladies. Hmm. But this guy was funny. I'll say I liked him. Oh shit, the old man is gone. That brother gone. Well, let's just go get our sword that can cut through magic stones, I guess. And I don't know how that's gonna help them stop a war, but it will, so yeah. That's what we're doing. Stopping wars. Okay. Don't you just save? Yeah, probably. I should probably save. I don't know when I'm gonna find another save point actually. Because, look, I'm, I'm just going straight down from here. Straight down? Yeah. There. And... Oh, no, that's wrong. I should go here. Okay. I know my path. I'm doing it. Yeah. It kind of sucks that Larsa left the party, like now of all times. But eh, we're gonna be just fine without him. The only thing he ever did was heal us, anyway. A very good healer, but just a healer. <laughs> and now we're going down this path. Dodge all the traps, because I already know where they are from the other time that I stepped on them. <laughs> Life is good. 
And uh, let's see, where am I? Right at the right spot. Okay, we're out. Let's see, I'll try to avoid the fights. Should we get there? Because I never know when, like, the game is gonna pull up another demo wall on us. Just say, hey, see this really big enemy here? Gotta beat it. Do it. Also, let me um, make another gambit, because I did remember that I got another healing spell. So I'm gonna go for if your HP is lower than 30%. Uh, there we go. Life is great. Now, ooh, there's stuff here. Just the water. I wonder if I get rid of the water. Battle harness. Sounds interesting. Not an accessory. It's not a helmet. What? Is it an, a regular item? Well, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Somewhere it exists. I'll eventually stumble upon it. Ah, oh, we'll get about a crystal for free. And it's funny because right now my healer is my best character, the higher leveled ones. Okay, I'm here to collect the sword. What's up? Is there going to be like a really strong boss I have to fight or something? Or is the game just gonna be like, hey, take sword. Wait, I can't bring that home. <laughs> I mean, that's probably just a statue, but... If the real stone was that big, then I'd be like, oh shit. Let's see, there seems to be a little device here. Yeah. Okay, that's our fine. That's our cool. That's our good. Yeah. That's our very safe. Treaty Seeker, Red Cal, the Spedestal Embrace. Oh hell no! One of those undead people. A little bit late to be throwing on zombies at the game, but like, sure. They aren't very strong, so it's, it's fine. Actually, they are like strong enough to be uh, fodder for leveling or something like that. Ooh, a waystone. Nice. I'll probably use that later. And that being said, I sh should either pick left or right and just check whatever's down here. In time of strife, the 3D seeker these doors to unbar. Okay, so it's locked on the other side, probably. Or is this one also locked? Oh, that one is locked for me too. Wait... What do I do then? Do I just touch it again? Yeah. Or is there something to do with that big head back there? Probably. Let's see if there's anything else here. Nope. 
just two doors that I need to find a way through. Yeah. Do I have to be playing as her to do this? I don't know. They're definitely missing something. To use it as a item? Well, I guess I'm on another pinch. Maybe the dudes back here can tell me more. Just they were right beside the door anyway. <laughs> Should have talked to them earlier. to do I'll look at it again I'm probably missing something it's like this door here is locked And I thought that using this item would work, but no. what I have to do? Ah, that's what I had to do. I had to equip the shard. Oh shit. I'm glad I thought about that. Cause like, you, you get this right from the middle of the game, but like, it reduces your MP to zero when you use it. So I guess that's the cost you have to play to pay here. Only go in with zero MP. Okay. Oh my God, Stone Man. Stone men know a lot of dark magic. Noted. 
probably will try to avoid there in the future. It's like they just throw us in a cage fight or something. Countdown. No way, there's healing traps here? <laughs> Let me see, I'll, I'll keep the, the spell going this time so I can see more traps. What? Okay. I'm not gonna question, I'm not gonna go there. Uh -uh. Big hit. Big hit looks very weird, but it's dead now, so it's fine. Come at me. And there we go. Okay, now I don't think it matters which side we pick. So we'll just go both. As usual. Okay, another one of those. Please don't make me hold the stone again, because I don't want to be with zero MP again. Like, if they do that again, I might play as my tank, because my tank doesn't need MP for anything. Ah, uh, okay. Sucks that I have to, you know, use my little MP on this. But again, that's also a nice mechanic for a dungeon, right? A dungeon that requires you to have no MP. It's really creative. So it's an enemy that becomes a save point when you kill it. That's cool. I'm liking this. Creative dungeon. Uh, really creative. Okay, that just loops around. Hope you're all having a good time today, guys. Glad you guys are here hanging out. What's that? A lot of strong looking enemies here. But this horse just caught my attention from afar. What? Oh, it teleported all the way over there. Oh, and then right again, right over here. That's interesting. I was like expecting it to end my life. Sword and this path open. Now what? Where are we going next? And when is the horrible boss battle? Because <laughs> I know that's coming. Like that, there's no escaping it at this point. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Well. This game's vibration uses right there. I swear. They use the rumble so well. <laughs> they use it like just as I open the door. 
It was really noticeable. It felt make they made the path feel very heavy. This is looking like bonus. By the way, it, it, yes. it do be making me feel a very special certain way, a very special bonus way. Face the blade with the statue. Uh... Wait, I don't know where the statue is, but... I'll just wait, because I need to find the sword first. First things first. There's also the other paths they want to check. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, a ruby ring. I got petrified. Can my stone stats be here? Thank you. If we're talking about facing the general direction that the sword is in, then I think I did it. But like, if it, if the game wants more than that, probably need to get it checked. Damn, I need more Gambit slots. <laughs> this game has way too many status effects. That's just impossible at this point. Okay. One out. Okay, so we went down, then we went right. Yeah, the stone is facing that way. And the sword is facing that way, so I should probably go back and spin it once. If what I'm thinking is correct, that is. Seem to like check it first. Uh, let's go back. Those uh, undead enemies, they seem like a good experience source. Okay, rotate. Counter compromise. There we go. And it says face the blade with relic barrier join. That's a very big chain. I guess the one strategy you could have for this thing is like have the other another party character that don't use hold the relic. Well that's just too much work for me. <laughs> Explosion traps that go boom. Let's 
It's like I'm grinding almost. <laughs> so many enemies. Now pick a chest. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, did I just get a lot of buster equipment? Uh, yes. No. Yes. No. Okay, just two of them are really good. But not as good as my sword. Just really good. I think that all, out of all of those, there's only one I can equip. The spear. Because the sword, the one that I have, is already stronger. Oh, that's nice. At least it was worth the little trip. Over. I'm guessing he's gonna ask me to face the... Face the sword again. Unless the sword is like right here, I think I'm right. The only the only way I'd have to switch something is if the game just places the sword differently from like where it's in game on the map, and that changes the puzzle answer. This map is so big that the enemies respawn inside it. <laughs> that definitely goes beyond my expectations of a big map. But that's also nice, because a lot of maps... At least where I remember when I played this on the PS2. Some loading screens would take forever. Exactly because like you would just take so much time to load these massive areas. Cause like once you get in here it's just everything at once, right? Let's see what's up. Phoenix down. Okay. Is that a Sword like weapon? Katana tree. 71 power though. Nah. I think we're just gonna pass on that one. Sounds like a lot of investment for a not very good weapon. That I'm probably gonna replace in a bit. Okay, the path to go now is. Back up. Yeah. And through here? Yeah. Wait, that's the sword, right? Yes, that's the sword. Okay, so I messed up the other room. Ooh, that kind of sucks. Uh, I'll go fix that real quick. Just need to go and turn it clockwise once. I imagine it's not gonna take too long. Oh, 
And like, hopefully I can come back to the path I came in. That would, that would make it even better. But I'm not counting on it, because this game. This game. Here we go. Now please don't be a one way door. Please. Thank you, game. Very kind of you. <laughs> oh boy. That could have been so much worse. I can finally turn the last one towards here. If without the map, the space would have been a lot more dangerous and difficult. Since they just guide you, it's pretty cool. Oh, what? <laughs> Excuse me. Never mind. We have a very weird boss on our hands. Okay. Now let me um first thing switch this accessory. Kinda want the battle harness on him. Second thing is decoy. And third thing is protect. And since I'm playing as a tank, you guys will get to see me run right into the boss and hug him for the entire duration of the fight. But uh, the thing I'm gonna do is just face the opposite direction from my my archer character so as long as we're just far enough from each other it's not gonna be much worrisome oh we blocked it nice not nice what's this ouch oh break damn but like we're doing a lot of damage but we're also getting better fighting so uh, white magic Oh, uh, I messed that one up. Oh god. There we go. And that's it. Is there like a phase two to this? Because. I'm not sure. No, we did it. Oh. This dungeon is going super quick. Oh yes, turnips, turnips, it's the turnips. <laughs> I mean, depending on the point of view, everything is bonus. Especially if the turnips weren't supposed to be there. <laughs> Ooh, we got a reward. Sage's ring. I'm gonna 
let's see. Uh, on my healer, what does he do? It reduces MP cost by half? That's busted. Damn. Not that I have anyone that like uses a lot of MP currently, but that's busted. Okay, uh, and we just need this to turn right the opposite way. A map? Please? <laughs> Finally, god. Like, I literally had the whole map seen already. <laughs> Except those two rooms. Okay, we're gonna rotate it clockwise twice, right? Bonus, bonus, this is bonus, bonus. I hope rotating these statues actually helps beat the dungeon, otherwise I would have wasted a lot of time. Okay. Then I guess I did it. I did the thing, guys. I did it. The problem is solved. Now we can just get the hell out of here and... See whatever happened to the statue. Oh shit. What up? Literally, what's up? That, that's, a, that's a lot of ups. Okay. And the path to beating the dungeon is literally... Oh, not here. Hold up. It's through here. And then I go that way. I was one floor too high. Yeah. Oh, go. Touching this and teleporting. Swing. Okay, we have a save point over here that's strategically placed. I mean, that looks strategically placed. Like, you can't tell me that they did this for no reason. No, no, no. They definitely wanted me to use this. Because there's gonna be a boss fight in the next uh, the room I'm going to now. At least it feels that way a lot. Okay, now. The real question is, do I need the... Accessories still equipped on me? Not that I need the MP, but like, having counters with the damage I'm doing. Okay, Wisdom Proven now is Sayer Power, so I don't need it. With the damage I'm doing and getting a counter would be awesome, so I'm just gonna put the uh, metal harness in. And like, yeah, I'll get MP back, but I'm not. I was never using MP with that guy anyway. <laughs> what are those? Hmm. That's a nice looking boss. Okay. To attack me and let me tank for you guys. I'm gonna go put a lever on my character and also Today, we're gonna do a little bit different when we set up shell walls. Level 25 and with to lightning. Oh, those things are with to lightning, but not the boss. I see. 
Uh, they seem to be doing good. Like, as long as I can counter all these attacks that I'm suffering and not dying. I guess the the countering strategy really is going to pay off. Damn. I wasn't expecting it should like go like this, but I'm glad it's going like this. Oh no. So we got... he got inflicted with sap. Okay... I'm gonna use this. Oh no, I messed up completely on that one. I pressed uh, R2 faster than I pressed in triangle. So. This might be in the back. I don't think they have the damage. Oh, my tank is asleep. Never mind. <laughs> my tank do be sleeping. This is dangerous. Oh, she woke up. Nice. And now the luring is gonna come through. So we, we'll probably get a lot of basic attacks for free. This is one hell of a plan, honestly. Like, I, I'm like surprising myself with how much uh, this is working. Because I'm like tanking this boss and its minions without killing them. And I imagine they would have to, like absolutely have to kill them. Okay, it's dead now, right? There we go. God, talk about a death screen. <laughs> there we go. Another netasite, right? Free summons for everyone. No one died. That's an improvement over previous boss battles. But I also felt like it was easier to uh, play as the tank. Because the DPS can just stand there and not do anything. So I might do that more often. Let's see, we get an elixir. I wonder what trap that one is. Should I stack one in? Yeah. Ah, mana phone. That's interesting. Like, I, you would never stab there during the fight, most likely, but that's interesting. Now what's up? There is the broken, very strong... Definitely a lot bending uh, sword. And so I'll probably just gonna stop. Cause we're gonna think it. That looks like a regular piece of equipment. Yeah, it do be a heavy sword, huh? 
give it to my tank. He can probably soon get it. Oh, it's the whole thing. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go the stone fears the sword. Damn. It's like, no, don't do it. <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> she couldn't do it. She didn't have it in her. I knew it. Mist got killed. The stone knows she didn't have the balls to kill Stone. <laughs> She's my healer for very specific reasons. Ne. Mata, ano hito ga mieta. Ore ni wa. Mie na katta. Damn. Yeah, it was just the stone telling her, don't kill me, don't do it. <laughs> the stones came back for their lives too, you know. Hey, I got the Sword of Kings. If only it was an actual equipment and not a key item. Anyway, it was a key item. The game would be like, yeah, that's, that's too valuable for you to be killing people with it. I'm sorry. But one can dream, like, we, we, we can, can hope, and expect. Yeah, this is a mana phone trap. What now? I feel like the game has gone long enough without something bad happening, so they're gonna be like... You thought? And just kill someone or something? Come on, my dude. What are you doing here? Okay. So we touch the stone and then... We just gotta get out manually. The old barring way. I thought... Oh, unless they have like a cutscene waiting for me. Cause you know, last time we, we got uh, the Nata site, they, they knew we were there. Hey. Return our old haste. Okay. I knew it. <laughs> I just knew it. As long as they don't blow up the mountain, that's fine. Unless... Nah, they wouldn't. No. Oh no, they did it already. <laughs> God damn it. I knew it. Every time something bad's gonna happen. Before I leave here, there's only one thing that I want to check. The water was suspicious, right? Ah, okay, it's the water. Never mind then. Well, we're going up full speed.
What's up with the snowstorm? God, the camera angles were horrible there. Blinding smoke trap. Another day, another trap to fall in. But then the crystal's gonna heal us, so it's fine. It's raining in here. Immune to petrify, huh? Good one. Good one. I'll take it for sure. What about you? Do you have anything new? I think those swords might be useful later, or something else, so I'll just keep them. Besides, I'm not really needing money right now, so we're fine. Well, everyone is dead. Oh, the judges did it. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, we saw that they did it. So. But it, it just seems like they just flew by and just opened fire for no reason. Also, Larsa was supposed to be here, right? What happened to it? It's gone. You. Oh, Bokokno Ojoka. Tegoke no Fukushu o Negate. Hao no Ken o Motometana. Not the old man. <laughs> ケンの神々に挑む大衆を抱いた人間がその I don't get what, why they would do that. I, I still don't get like the old girl to your motive of this. But I guess they just, it, it seems like they just want to control the whole true power. And that's okay. But they kind of already did that because they were the... Uh, Strongest nation already. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wait, 
Wait, what happens to my lure? Um, okay, now it's working. That's a very different music for a battle like this. It almost sounds like they didn't want you to win this one. But like, we're definitely winning this one. Like, really, like... Sorry, my dude. You're dead. You're very dead. We got him. The hell? Man literally blew up. Karada <sighs> I see he had stones on his bones. Lassa-sama? <laughs> <laughs> <My dude> almost died. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't take my healer. Just give me your money, man. We get the <laughs> That's right. Oh. Where the stone land? Teito that's nice. I should just like said, okay, good luck there. Try to survive, man. D don't die. <laughs> that's right. Don't forget to have a <laughs> he had to do it. The move should make him look cool. That was fun. Teto Arcade is here. Don't know. Yeah, well, we don't have a ship or anything right now. Well, we kind of do, right? Don't we? Oh, we can't afford fire. Yeah.空賊らしくもないな歩きだ。サリカジュリンのあたりで国境を越える。いくつか道はあるが、ナルビナを通って北上するものがてこれだ。サリカジュリンを抜けた先にファンターたちの集まるキャンプが。ジーズクライス、ダッツフィディファー。帝国の領内だから、軍の警戒も緩くなるでしょう。ま、その先も相当長いけどね。バリティングはハブダファーストスの
Oh yeah, this is definitely a bonus. Bonus area. Bonus, 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 bonus. We're not gonna go there. At least not right now. I'm looking for that crystal. Now we're, we're done with this area. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the bonus alert. Like, they, they had a whole jungle just for bonus. Well, like, I, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna bring, bring my movement and just skip ahead of the game. And then we can just go that way, probably? Okay. Got one hell of a mountain ahead of us. What level is this enemy? Let's see. Just so that I'm aware of what we're doing here. Oh, level 30, okay. We're fair. We're like 35 right now, around that mark. But also, all the enemies here, they look very similar for some reason. It's The enemies here are like enemies from other areas, but we call her, or with slight differences to their bodies. Ouch! <laughs> My toes! <laughs> Not again! Okay, I'll go this way. Where now? Up here? I hope I'm taking the right path. <laughs> Since I don't have a map for this uh, area, I'm kind of just winging it up the mountain. What are those? God, it's really good that I have an archer here. If you did some rings and you let you ride it, okay? That sucks, huh? The place that I wanted to go to requires me to the small. God, this game. <laughs> the chocobo music in this game is not as good as in the other games. So I don't vibe to it as much. But it is still chokeable music, so you have to. You just have to. Let's see, they got the sword they just dropped. A bow that's almost the same damage as mine. Which is good. Golden staff. Well done. Uh, I think I don't have anything else that I can put on right now. There's one gun. And a power rod. <laughs> what a weird name for a rod. The rod of unlimited power. And I need to put on the gun on this dude. No way, he can put on the Sword of Kings. It, it really isn't a, an equipable sword that you can use. Nah, you gotta be joking. Oh, it is. That's cool. Not very strong, but like, cool. Uh, 
Let's see, uh, mobile save point. I mean, usually the kings themselves aren't strong. What's strong is the nation, right? The army. Mm -hmm. That's the strong part. Ooh, equipment for everyone? Ugh. Like, do I want to go through that again? Eesh. Nah, I'll just buy magic. Well. You can only speak for yourself. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guys over at this game are all just getting messed up. Because of the, the army messing up with their plans all the time. Okay, we should be going this way and up here. Free stuff? Thief scuffs. That's nice. Also, don't go killing kings, please. <laughs> don't do it. Jail time is not good. Okay. Thanks for the lurk. It's like I'm going up a hill on this map. It's, it looks really weird. So my my character not not doing very good. It's like I have no control of him whatsoever. And the only difference from normal is that I can move. Because. <laughs> Really, normally the game doesn't really make much of a point. Pair of boots. It's like we're defeating some ancient Pterodactyls or, or something like that. Like, the enemies here, they look dangerous, but I feel like my characters are just too strong. DPS-wise. Crossing over. This is the map I had to go to gain. Because <laughs> it kind of looks very ominous. You know what I'm just saying? Yes. The Salika wood. And they said I had to cross this, so. Oh no, the steps of my characters walking very fast on the wood. <laughs> I can't take this game seriously anymore because of the step sounds. Yeah. And we just go around like. I'm sure that the game expected me to grind on that previous area, so uh, the enemy level should have catched up by now. Should have. <laughs> Sleeping enemies that I can just stab. Oh hell yeah. 
Wait, what's this? What am I going? What is this going on? The hell? This, this place is massive. I thought it was just like a little branching path, but no. Now I am the woodman. I control the woods. these guys again. That says a lot about level progression here. <laughs> it, it really does. Where am I going to next? Oh, another crystal. Uh, any shops in here? Or anywhere that it could get a map? Oh yeah, that looks like a boss battle. Oh. I'm ready. There still isn't much to change on my party. Anyway. Oh, someone has been beating that thing up. Or they have just been eating themselves all over the place. Which is just as bad. Cancelled my action. I still have the backup part in case shit happens. How many uh, HP does these bombs now? Okay. I don't know if it's worth my time to actually like kill these smaller bombs. Probably not. So I kinda wish I had like a rise or something for this kind of situation because if he blows himself up. Or if they blow themselves up with uh, not too much health, we're all dead. Probably. Oh, they're healing. Oof. Let's see, um, can I actually disable the bombs? Yes, I can. Okay, so Ash dying again. Ooh, this is getting really dangerous. Also, can we uh, slow the bomb? I 
as he gets renewed. That's what it was. I kinda need. Wait, I need to change this. There we go. Now I should probably survive. And I also need to. Let's see. Do I have anything that makes her resistant to fire? Just seem to oil. God, that kind of sucks. Cause now she's just perma dying, and my party's gonna die because of it. Unless, wait. That's what I can do. I don't know if I targeted the right bomb. I hope so. Yo, what up? You're big. I'm getting smashed on a boss battle. <laughs> what about bombs and my healer blowing up? And very tragic. Okay, uh, next thing we're gonna do is cast Decoy? <laughs> My god. Stop this woman from dying, game. At least she doesn't have oil on her anymore. Wait, it only kills one person? Really? Let me check. Yeah, it's a large amount of HP to one ally. That's why I'm dying. God. God damn. Then this healing magic kinda sucks. We'll go back to the weaker one. Because we need everyone healing, otherwise we all die. Yeah. It's either everyone or no one. There's no in-betweens. Please, not renew! Come on! Ah! <laughs> God damn it, game. I need to keep this bomb uh, still for a little while. Can I immobilize it? Is that a thing? Not chain reaction. Oh god. My healer is literally right there. <laughs> Yep, knew this was gonna happen. But we're still on it. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, this summon is a fire-based summon. That kind of sucks. They are things that go boom. Yeah, he do be trying to go boom on my party. And my healer does not like going boom. At, at, at least that's what I've learned. But like, as long as he doesn't use Renew, we can kill him. This boss was a little tricky because he kept doing like things that would make the fight take longer, like this. God. Wait, can I actually? I'm bringing my mage and I'm doing it. Bringing her in to spend water magic on this. And maybe ice? I don't know if ice magic works, but. She does have that at uh, rank 2, so it might be working better. God, can this boss stop? <laughs> Jesus. He's just going. All the time, just go. Okay, it doesn't do that much damage. But now the fact that there are like that many bombs just running around. It's kind of scary. Where's my handkerchiefs? There. Can't have my healer catch on fire while she's doing healer things. God. Jesus. That was horrible. And I can't believe my guy stank that. Like, he, he was like, yeah, no biggie, we're we out here. But like, with, with two healers, this kind of happens. We're surviving here. Let's see, um... Time for some bunny action, guys. We're doing it. Bam, I didn't get in. That's unlucky. It's interesting kind of this game, like my mage is defaulting to use water magic instead. Let's see, uh, I think I'm gonna take the mage out actually. No, I don't feel like she's doing enough. Water magic takes a lot of time to go out. God. Game, please let me change my party. Please. Oh, we're gonna win? Really? We're, we're winning? Not the parry. Oh, thank you. 
Jesus Christ. I was like about to put another DPS character just just to basic attack this thing to death. Oh no. Yikes. Well, that went boom. Honestly, that was quite fun. <laughs> I I was literally just complaining about the game not giving me like that many challenges, and it just did. So props for the game for listening to me. Now it's time for the old gang to get together again. <laughs> Thank you, Bunny. We're very helpful. Very, very helpful. <sighs> My friends, I think that's gonna do it for today, actually. 